Let's do the everyone is the asshole one. Let's do let's do this one. Am I the asshole for fighting with my sister because she makes annoying, random, and loud noises because she is neurodivergent? can only end well. My sister, 16 female, has been slowly being louder and more annoying. At this point, she can't go five minutes without making some loud, obnoxious sounds. She'll shriek, clap her hand, cough loudly, sneeze loudly, and just make strange noises that I don't even know how to describe. My parents, both 49 and I, 15, have all asked her why she does this. Because it's popular on TikTok. She claims that she is neurodivergent. She says she has ADHD and autism and thinks she probably has something else too. Oh. Is that what's trending right now? It used to be Tourette's. She even sent us videos talking about these disorders and why people with them need to make these noises to feel okay, I guess. I don't think she has them because I did research and she doesn't seem to have any other important symptoms of these disorders. The thing is, when we are out and around people, she will still make these noises, which is very embarrassing. But she makes them a little more quietly and less frequently. I told her that this proves she can control it, but she says she can only control it a bit for a few hours. But she shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable in our house by trying to control it. My parents are just going along with it and allowing her to do this, even though they don't believe her. I told her to get a real diagnosis if she is really serious about this, and so that she finds ways to stop doing this but refuses my parents tell me to let her be but it's just so annoying even if i stay in my room all i hear i hear all the obnoxious sounds she makes all day i have to put on headphones which are uncomfortable when i'm really tired of hearing it lately i've been calling her names each time she makes an obnoxious sound i will also sit in the living room because i hate staying in my room all day and will loudly play music she doesn't like and sing badly and sometimes make fun of the noises she <laughs> My parents told me to stop because she went crying to them about it, but I said she didn't force her to... If they don't force her to go to therapy, I won't stop. My parents are clearly stressed about all this, and I feel kind of bad. But I don't really feel bad for annoying my sister back. So am I the asshole for fighting with her over this and causing stress to my parents as a result? Yeah, no, Reddit's right. You all suck. No, oh, Reddit's right. You're all assholes. <laughs> You're all cringe as hell. What? This is 15 years... She's 15. Oh, no, no, no. The sister is 16. OP is 15. They're both stupid kids. The real issue is the parents. The real issue in this situation is the parents not taking their children to get a fucking look over to see if something actually is up. Because one thing... There's, there's two things I have to say about this chat. One thing is that some symptoms of certain neurodivergencies might develop later on in life, right? Just because she is potentially mimicking some attributes of a disorder does not necessarily mean that it's not like from a place of her relating to it and feeling like it is potentially something that she has. But that being said, she should not be self-diagnosing herself seriously and she should not be like being like, oh, well, I need to enact, I, I, I need to display these other symptoms so people believe that I have these issues or whatever. It sounds like she's LARPing, but she's a 16 year old. So it's hard to really Really, like hold it against her she should go get a fucking diagnosis she should go talk to a professional the other thing i have to say is there's so many of these fucking larpers man there's so many there's so many like teenagers that go on tiktok or whatever and they see like the in adult women adult adult men adult uh, people there's there's lots of people that they go on like tiktok and the trendy thing is like having tourettes and having tics and there's, there's like, oh, I have dissociative identity disorder. And you have even like some big influencers coming out and being like, oh yeah, actually I have this because it's just a trendy thing to like show off, right? It's kind of like a new quirky personality trait. When realistically they displayed no symptoms of it, they might genuinely believe that they have it, but I personally think it's mass hysteria. I don't think it necessarily always comes from a place of like, let me capitalize on this trend mental illness yes yeah, social contagion i think i think it's a, i think it's mass hysteria i think it's people convincing themselves that they have problems that they might not actually have because they're witnessing other people with these problems perhaps feeling some relation to it and then making it like a core part of their identity either way take the kid to a fucking therapist and talk about it it's op is a child as well op is younger than his sister op is 15 so he's a kid i mean he's an asshole <laughs> 
he's an asshole. His sister's being stupid. They're both being stupid. The parents, if they can afford it, should take their kids to get a fucking checkup. All right? That's how I feel. That being said, shit like psychiatric evaluations are going to doctors, therapists, etc. That shit is very expensive. My parents never wanted to take me to the doctor. I only got to go to the doctor when there was something like seriously fucking wrong. So I understand if it's that kind of situation where maybe she's just doing the best with what she has. I don't know. I don't know. Go talk to a school counselor. <laughs> go talk to a school counselor or something. That's how I feel. Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low, low Effort Clips. That's right, Low Effort Clips, right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.